guys, it's Evasion. Welcome to another one of my PvP tutorial videos. In this video, I'm going to go over gems, talents, and glyphs that I'll be using in patch 5.3 for subtlety rogues. Uh, first of all, I think we'll go over gems. So, for reds, I'm just going to be gemming Delicate Primordial Ruby for 160 agility. Uh, since the patch, they've made PvP power take way more to scale per point, so it's even worse than it was before. So now agility will be way far ahead of it, especially for sub, as you gain 30% more agility through a passive. For yellow gems, I'm going to be taking Lucent Vermilion Onyx, which is 80 agility, 80 resilience. Uh, I believe this to be maybe not the best option. You may want to go 80 agility, 160 mastery gems but I'm personally going to be using these. And for blue gems, I'm going to be using Assassin's Imperial Am Amethyst. 80 agility, 80 PvP power. You could go with 80 agility, 120 stamina if you prefer, but that's what I'm going to do on my Feral Druid anyway. For my Rogue, I'm just going to stick with the Assassin's gems for blue. Secondly, I think we'll go over talents real quick. Uh, I'm still going to be using Sutterfuge, even though we received some nerfs on Cloak and Dagger, and I'll no longer be using that. But I believe Sutterfuge should still be the best option, as you can peel an entire team still with proper positioning. Uh, I'm going to be using Deadly Throw. I think the interrupt's just too good to give up. There hasn't been many teams that have just turned and globaled me in a long time, so... Maybe if, they, if I did start getting globaled, I would probably swap over to Combat Readiness. In the meantime, I'm going to continue using Deadly Throw. Uh, I'm still going to be using Elusiveness. I believe this is by far the best option in this row, unless maybe I'm getting global, like I said a second ago, and maybe then I would use Cheat Death. I think Cheat Death is far more weak than it used to be back in previous expansions. In the next row, I'll definitely be taking Shadow Step. It is by far the best option since the nerfed Cloak and Dagger. I'm pretty happy about this change personally, as Cloak and Dagger kind of made it so rogues who weren't so good were able to do clutch things, and they didn't have to worry about wasting their gap closer. I'll also be taking Prey on the Weak still to increase damage during stuns. I believe this is just the best option. I have messed around with Dirty Tricks and Paralytic Poison a bit. The thing I don't like about Paralytic Poison is that you have a really low chance to proc Crippling Poison then, and just like. If you can't get on the target, just ruin your day. And for the last row, I'm going to be using Mark for Death this patch. Shriek and Toss is still fine if you guys enjoy using that. I prefer Mark for Death to try and increase, make up for the burst that we lost in the patch. I've been able to run over some healers in twos so far, and overall I like this talent. Lastly, I think I'll go over Glyphs. Uh, this patch, we received some nerfs to the Glyph of Cheap Shot and Glyph of Garrote. Uh, it says, still says increases the duration of Cheap Shot by 1 second, but it is actually only 0.5 seconds. So this will make your Cheap Shot 4.5 seconds as opposed to 5 before the patch. Uh, Garrote is now only increasing the duration of Garrote's Silence by 1 second, making it 4 seconds as opposed to before when it was 4.5. I would maybe consider dropping Glyph of Cheap Shot now for something like Glyph of Faint or maybe Glyph of Cloak of Shadows. Overall, I think I'm probably going to be using the same Glyph still. And then Glyph of Blind is, in my opinion, mandatory, unless you're... No, it's mandatory. Well, that's all for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you like this sort of thing, I'll make more. I might do something on openers or... Uh, general strategies for arena or something like that if you'd like to see a tutorial on something just leave a comment and let me know what you think